nationality, jurisdiction, and venue. Now, real quick before he, uh, just to, to bring some more light to the whole, oh, we are, all of us are Moors. Nonsense. That three, those three uh, items that he just put on the, on the board are the exact reason why we are all Moors. We are all separated uh, tribally. You, you see what I'm saying? We are different in that matter. And, and, in, and in that instance, you're correct. We are all not Moors. Everybody doesn't come necessarily from the Maori tribe. However, when you're dealing with empires, when you're dealing with venues, jurisdiction, and nationality, no, then we all become Moors. You see what I'm saying? You stand politically. In, in that regard, it's, there's a, it's, it's an, entirely, uh, an entire different uh, uh, issue outside of just tribalism. We were not just sitting around as, oh, okay, it was this tribe and that tribe. No, we were coming together as tribes and making governments. That's where the colloquial term of more comes from. It don't come from Europeans. It comes from us banding together, period. Mm. And that's, you know, when you sum it up, Status. What is your status in society? How long will you perpetuate? How long will you perpetuate the slave myth? Because that's all you're doing. You're not going to save blackness. There's no black superhero. Your nation or, or group that you call a nation is not going to rise and be the savior of the day. All of your lessons, all of the things that you have learned mean nothing when you have to stand up where the war is waged, the metaphysical war, and that's within the courtroom. That is within the places where the laws are written and legislated. If you don't have any status, you are dead. Now don't get me wrong, people have statuses. Because black is a status. But it only exists in the fiction. It's not real. More has, ex has existed since time immemorial. And we prove it. We trace it back through history. You cannot trace. I mean, it, it almost sounds redundant. But one of the working tools of the mind is the hammer. And we must drive home the truth until it is a part of every part. If you are still running with the socio-political construct of blackness, you are gonna fail every single time. Talking about where more comes from, some of the various different research that was done in-, in, in I mean, C, C. Freeman now broke it down. My owl is not gonna look all that, so excuse me. <laughs> best I can do for right now. Mm -hmm. But this is how C. Freeman now broke it down. He gave you the title for more. That's in the glyph. Now, that's an now? Yeah, that's an now. So, it just looks crazy. Yeah, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. So, what about the, uh, what about, you know, people who say the devil side, you know, that mean the owl? I mean, when you see them standing there going like this, what they are doing is letting you know that we are versed in your Babylonian sciences that you created. What was the opening 
of destruction of a black civilization. How did how did it open? It says a wise man, it says a man was traveling or something to that effect, and he came upon an old man and asked him, what happened to the people of Sumer? For the record shows that they were black. And the old man says, well, they have lost their history, and so they died. When you see them, the, the, the Europeans, throwing up this sign right here, they are letting you know that we have stolen your history, and we have beat you over the head and given you amnesia. So does it mean, is, is that sign a, a sign of devil worship? Of course not. It can't be. However, if I am powerful enough to convert the energies into negativity, then of course you're going to equate it with everything evil because I am using it to perpetuate a spell. I mean, what is the Moorish star? Check it out. They show you the Moorish star. Five pointed star. Love, truth, peace, freedom, justice. However, when you see satanic worship, for the most part, you see it like this. I ain't never drew this thing upside down before, so bear with me. But then you see them outline the gold and all that. So if I can take something which was originally divine in its heaven state, and I can reverse the polarities and make it evil in its hell state, I'm God. <laughs> and I can control your children the same exact way. Now, you know, the thing, too, is when they talk about the devil, devil means adversary. That's all it means. It means someone that's adverse. Now, what, what, do, what does the European do? He keeps you mired in the lower self. The Moorish Quran teaches us that. The only, the only devil is, is the devil within self. And if man must find his devil, he must look within because the name of that devil is called self. If I can keep you mired in your lower self while subconsciously supplanting the idea that the devil exists outside of self, I'll control you forever. Mm -hmm. This Yo, is why. You could, you, could, you could write the word enemy on the board so that people could see the word enemy, E-N-E-M-Y. -N, uh, e because the enemy is in me. <laughs> That's what they don't understand. The word enemy, enemy. enemy. is enemy. <laughs> exactly enemy. the inner me, enemy. the inner self, the oh. inner me. <laughs> Look at the phonetics. Enemy. Just say. I mean, that's the, one of the number one things that you hear. I'm my own. Where we sending me? Now they told you, now the deep thing about it is when all of those other guys, all of these other, uh, you know, teachers came or whatever the case may be and told us that, you know, we, we God, you know, God is within you, God, you God. The only one who told us where the devil was at <laughs> was Noble Drew Ali. Because right. if you God, then you the devil too. Then, then you'll hear him say, well, I, didn't, I wasn't the one who shot the girl down. And yeah, but you didn't do nothing about it, so you just worshiped the devil. <laughs> I, was on a phone, I was on a phone call. It was me, Brother Minister, 1930, and the Brother Aunt, the God killer. So I just spit the same thing that I just demonstrated which was the devil was within. We have to stop with the excuses. The brother said, no, we're not the devil. Only the white man is the devil. I said, how can that be when we do devilish things every day? I said, I did so much devilish growing up that it's 
It's not even funny. So the brother, brother minister asked the brother aunt, he said, excuse me, what about them two brothers, two brothers, he called them black men, that raped that, I think he said, seven-year-old girl or nine-year-old girl, were they the devil? The brother said, uh, uh, well, I mean, no, they're not the devil, they just been copying the Europeans so much. <laughs> Tell that to a lot of to all the young women and even older women who get raped by brothers. It's no, come on. This yeah. is why the, the the doctrine of the prophet Noble Drew Ali is so hated. Because what did he say? He said, I came to take away all of the excuses. I forgive you for everything you did before I came here. But now, pretty much, you're responsible for your own actions. You know, that, that, that's how that's interpreted. You are responsible for your own actions. If I take the attitude of a do as thou will, I am putting the energy into the universe that if it does not come back on me per se, it is only going to go back to one of my kind, my kindred. Because, you know, all, all people of all races are related. And those who are, you know, specifically identified by their characteristics, they are definitely more blood-bound than anybody. And I just use races as a, as a generic term. These people are putting so much negative energy into the atmosphere that they cannot even produce a child of love. It is impossible. How can you tell me that voodoo, occult, sex science is the answer to the problems of the world? When these type of practices have not been shown to work. Plus, a lot of Rome, the Romans and uh, Greeks was doing that stuff. So all they all they talking about is uh, just Roman Greek antics. I mean, you know, European psychology. What in Rome do as the Romans do, <laughs> pretty much. Mm. And this is what they're doing. They think it's all right to have sex, cult, uh, occult shows and videos and speaking about the. Cool. Like, I see these guys on these videos talking this stuff, and it's baffling to me because Morris science teaches you that you got to conquer the lower self. It doesn't say engage in lower self and you shall be free. No. Every pain must be offset with a pleasure. Every pleasure must be offset with the pain. If you perpetuate love, however, and you put that into the universe, the only way the universe can react to you is with love. But if you bring anything else into that universal uh, construct, it is going to construct something back for you, cause and effect. Every action has a reaction, period. There is no way that the people can continue with this madness that's going on telling me that I don't need nationality. Not telling me, excuse me, telling the masses, you don't need nationality, you don't need that paperwork, when these same people are bound by paperwork. <laughs> Birth certificates, social security cards, DMV, uh, Department of Motor Vehicle cards that you had to fill out some type of application to get. Those whom are working, those who are married, you had to fill out paperwork. How do you combat? Uh, if, if I can't go into a, a gunfight with a sword. You're just not going to do that. You're going to go into a gunfight with your gun. And if you know your opponent, you might grab the biggest gun off the shelf. It's just simple as that. How am I going to go into court and say, Woosha, let this case be dismissed. And the, and the judge take me serious. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> it's not going to happen. But what about when they say that more, that, you know, that moral science is only good for the white man court, you know, uh, you know, we need the morals 